Last month, we marked 23 years since the bombing at the federal building in Oklahoma City. Of course, Western New York has a dark connection to that terror attack. That's right, and all these years later, we are now hearing from a man central to the investigation as he looks back at trying to catch and punish everyone who was involved in the bombing. Here's Channel 2's Michael Wooten. Just one big boom. We are a block from where the blast occurred. The FBI will pursue every lead. Those horrible images so familiar to us here because the Oklahoma City bombing was carried out by Western New York native Timothy McVeigh. But of course, he didn't act alone. And tonight, we're hearing the detailed account from the FBI agent who helped track down one of McVeigh's co conspirators. Did Brings a tear to my eye every time I, I, I think of that. As we're speaking, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Kenneth Williams still has nightmares about the bombing. He recalls how investigators quickly pinpointed the mastermind, Timothy McVeigh, who grew up in Pendleton in Niagara am I, County. Am I pure evil? Am I the face of terror? But Agent Williams knew McVeigh had help. It took 48 hours to connect him to an address in Arizona, less than two hours from Las Vegas. We identified Michael and Lori Fortier. McVeigh and Fortier served together in the Army. McVeigh was living with the Fortiers a few months before the Oklahoma City attack. We sent SWAT team up there. Through several interviews, Fortier insisted he knew nothing of McVeigh's plans. I can't believe that he was going to do this. I had no knowledge that he was going to do that. While FBI leaders believed Fortier, Agent Williams wasn't buying it. You get a gut feeling sometimes. He found holes in Fortier's story. My Michael Fortier was lying to his co-workers. Armed with search warrants, agents searched Fortier's trailer and found more than 100 detonators on his property. They would blow things up out in the Arizona desert. The evidence was mounting. Agent Williams interviewed Fortier again, this time showing him pictures of the victims, including children who were killed. He pushed away from the table and he said, what about all the kids you guys killed in Waco, Texas? At that point, it was clear Fortier was involved, but to what extent? Another picture would tie it all together. It was Michael Fortier's wife, Lori. This was a picture where she was semi-naked. Uh, uh, it was a picture taken by none other than Timothy McVeigh. His question to me, was what kind of deal can you give me? I will give you everything. Prosecutors argued Fortier knew of McVeigh's plans and did nothing, but they offered him a plea deal in exchange for his testimony. Fortier got just 12 years in prison, served 10, and was released in 2006. Family members of the victims were outraged. He should personally, to me, die in prison. He should never be released. Agent Williams is able to speak freely now that he's retired. He believes Fortier should have spent far more time behind bars. He is just as responsible uh, for the deaths of those people. At the end of the day, I think he got probably one of the biggest deals I've ever seen in my professional career. Timothy McVeigh got the death penalty and was executed in 2001. Fortier, meanwhile, is a free man, despite his inaction that helped cause the deaths of 168 people. Oklahoma City remains the deadliest domestic terror attack in our country's history. I'm Michael Wooten reporting.